What's up everybody? It's your boy Mood616 here and yes, I am back with another contest entry. Uh, this is actually the second contest entry I've done in like the last month, which is so strange because I hadn't done one in like two years, I swear. Um, but yeah, this one is going to be for my man uh, Retro Slasher, aka Andy Cripps. Um, He's been a friend of mine before the days of him self-making videos on YouTube. Uh, he used to comment on my videos and became really good friends. He's part of a group chat that uh, that we have for our Top 10 Tuesday series. And we actually talk every single day um, with like 9 or 10 guys. And it's just a constant conversation about horror films. And yeah, you know, it's a real close-knit community. Um, some people seem to think that we, there's no community anymore. I know it's a little lackluster on YouTube, but the community has kind of moved itself over to Facebook a little bit. You know, it's kind of an extension of YouTube and stuff, but you know, we still collaborate. Um, but he asked three questions for the, uh, for the contest entry. And I believe the first question was, what is our favorite slasher film of all time? Now my favorite slasher film of all time, of course, is Maniac, the original film. Um, what can I say, man? Joe Spinell just kills this role. William Lustig's direction is awesome. It's just a fucking amazing film. Everybody knows that about me. Didn't want to pull any surprises, didn't want to lie, but Maniac is my favorite uh, slasher film of all time. So, yeah. Um, and then second question was, um, favorite kill in a slasher film? Now, I think I've stated this before, but this is going back to one of those type of kills that the first time I saw this in the, in, in the film, I literally pissed myself laughing and had to rewind it like a hundred times. I swear I wore out that part on the videotape. Um, but it's from uh, Friday the 13th, part seven, when Jason picks up the girl in the sleeping bag and fucking breaks her over a tree. It, it has to be the funniest shit I've ever seen in a film. I, I don't know why to this day, every time I see it, I just piss myself laughing, but still, it's so fucking funny. I mean, it's just so perfect too, because you're out at the lake, you're camping. Why not kill somebody in their sleeping bag over a tree? That is awesome. Fucking amazing. Now, for the third question, he asked us to recommend him uh, a couple um, a couple slasher films that he may have not seen or, you know, that he doesn't own or whatever. So, Andy, I remember when you posted your very first video on YouTube, it was uh, an overview of your entire slasher collection, which is very cool. Uh, so I went back and actually watched it today, and I've already actually kind of forgot some of the things that were on there. I just need a refresher because you went through it like super fast, like 150, 200 movies in like 10 minutes. Um, but these are the ones that I came up with off the top of my head. I've been in my room working on this new room because I moved my whole collection up here, so I thought I'd stop and do this. So I was already in here picking up, moving around videos, so I was like, fuck it, I'm doing this conscious entry. But this is what I found in my, uh, in my, you know, in my journeys. First up, this one right here is from 2012, and it's called Bloody Bloody Bible Camp. Now, this movie is fucking so much fun, man. Reggie Bannister plays this dirty-ass priest in this film. Uh, so much fun. If you've never seen Bloody Bloody Bible Camp, give this one a shot if you can find it. I know it's out of print and goes for pretty stupid money now, so... But uh, give this one a shot, man. The opening credits in this film are done so well. Like, some of the best opening credit kills, and just the way they did it, it's awesome. I'm not going to ruin it, but check this one out. Bloody, 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 bloody Bible Camp. It's fucking awesome, so. Yeah. All right. So, next up here, another relatively newer one. I believe this is 2010, and it is called Blood Junkie. Now, I've recommended this to lots of people. It's really low budget, but it's just a lot of fun. I like the atmosphere. I like the gore in it. Um, you know, the storyline, it is what it is. It's kind of cool. Uh, but I just, I really like the setting and just the way this whole film kind of develops and stuff. It's very cool. Um, of course, it is low budget, of course, like I said, released by Troma. Um, but uh, give this one a shot. It's good stuff. Uh, going all the way back to the 80s, uh, this one right here is from 1988, directed by Dick Moss, and of course, it's Amsterdam. This is a really, really good Dutch slasher film. Love this film, man. It's just so much fun. It's very underrated. A lot of people do not talk about this one for some reason. It's probably because it doesn't have a release in Region 1, I believe. Of course, this is the Shameless uh, edition. Um, I think it is all Region, though, actually. I think this one is. I don't know. I'm not going to waste time on that. But very, very unique slasher film. Uh, you know, very unique. The killer is awesome in this. Um, that's all I'm going to say. But... Very different. Awesome flick, though. Awesome film. Now, here's another one that I recommend. Of course, I just couldn't pick one. I had to pick, like, six. Uh, this one right here is a total Halloween ripoff, but I enjoy it, man, and it's another one that people just don't mention a lot, and uh, I think it's okay. It's not great, but it's a, it's a fun slasher film, and it's Offerings. Um, total Halloween ripoff. You know, mental patient breaks out, comes home, kill when you start, you know, happening. 
pretty basic storyline, you know, we've all heard it a million times, but um, it's okay. It's cool. Offerings. And last up for the recommendations is a supernatural, supernatural slasher film from 1982, I believe this movie came out in. Um, yeah, and it's one that's out of print, it's harder to find, but it's really a lot of fun, and I've always loved this film with a passion. And of course, that's Superstition. Really awesome stuff, of course, released by Anchor Bay, so, you know, it does go for stupid money now. Unfortunately, it needs a re-release on Blu-ray, hopefully one of these days. I'm really sorry about the glare. I'm in this room, and the window's just fucking huge in here, so. Um, but yeah, Superstition, give this one a shot. Like I said, supernatural stuff, really cool setting, love the house in this, awesome, so. But yeah, I think that is going to do it for the contest entry. Congratulations on the uh, the subs. I believe it was a 50 sub contest, and now you're like way over 100, which is very cool. So, so everybody watching this video, I'll leave the link down below to Andy Cripps or to Retro Slasher's uh, um, channel. Head over there, give him a sub, support his channel, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, Andy. Yo, what's up, brother? Here's a little hidden gem for you at the end of the video. Uh, I actually pulled this out, forgot to show it, and it's The Orphan Killer. I recommend this film highly. It's totally awesome flick, man. Really, really cool stuff. Give this one a shot. If you can find the steelbook, pick this up. It is the Shiznit Zhiya.